the year is 1990X. Which I think is actually 1995 when this game came out. It's Earthbound, everybody. Everybody that probably knows this game. Since it's been out for how long now? 5, 23, closing in on 25 years almost. Holy crap. Wait, it's been over 25. Is it closing in on 30? No. No, 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 no. Math. No, the original statement was fine. Holy crap. Either way, I wanted to play a game that I know a lot more, and uh, we're going to kind of call this like a retro Friday sort of thing. Since I know most people probably don't want to see retro games, but I like retro games, and I feel like they should live on. So I'm going to play a retro game, and I'm playing on a Super Nintendo, so this is a little bit strange controller-wise. Anyways, let's go. And I believe there is my sister. Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Where you go? Did you talk to mom when you stay up late? I can't seem to fall back asleep. There's also a present in here. Ness, open the present. There is a crack bat inside. Ness takes it. Ness is going to equip that crack bat, actually. Let's do that. Okay. I remember most of this game because I have played it non-stop every year for god knows how long but i don't know everything what was that noise ness you don't seem scared are you nuts and now you want to go check it out oh okay you'll sneak out of your room anyway even if i asked you not to at least change out of your jammies before you go and we're gonna learn how illiterate i am if you guys haven't already figured that out so this should be fun 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 silly willy fun um i'll Oh, right. Okay. So, if you've never played Earthbound, um, sit back and enjoy the ride, because it's one of my favorite games ever. Um, don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto. But, I'm just going to kind of be cruising around a little bit. Like, I'm going to beat the game and try to show off as much as I can. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to break down every single detail of the game. Like, if you want to get the full experience and all the dialogue and everything yourself, which this game has wonderful dialogue, so you should probably do it, uh, then play it yourself. If you just want to watch a guy mellow, mellow, a mellow playthrough, then... um. This is probably the time to watch. Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops, I mean officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about that strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you bug you're bugging the officers. Okay, so if we talk to Pokey, he's our neighbor. He's kind of a pain. Kind of a dick. He's also Ness's best friend, quote-unquote. Kind of got like a... I don't know. I, do you spoil things in a 25-year-old game? Is that even a thing? Like, we were having this argument about Bioshock, because I've never played Bioshock before. But, freaking people spoiled that for me. But they didn't. I mean, the problem is I can't actually call their bluff if they spoiled it or not. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary, it's not necessary to talk tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed. So, maybe they did spoil it, maybe they didn't, it's kind of hard to say. Later that night. Really later that night, okay. And someone's knocking on the door. Someone's knocking at the door, what an annoying knock. My la my land? Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, knocking at the door, and we're just going to get your 10-year-old son to answer. Brilliant. Hey, l l l l listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to this place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. Anyways, 
as I was saying, this police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they will really go wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my best friend. Won't you help me find Picky? No. If you refuse, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Will you come with me? Nope. Okay, okay, I won't say anything to hurt you. Will you please come with me? If you refuse, I'll say- Oh, okay, that's it. Fine. Fine, we'll fight. We'll fight to the death. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree? You're gonna make me change out of my pajamas again. Isn't she? You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. I'll do my best to read the important dialogue. I won't skip through everything. That seems like it just ruins the story for anybody who has not played this game in its entirety. Yeah, sure. You're cool. Whatever. Seems like a strange thing for a mother to say. I don't even... Do you want... Yes, so if you talk to a uh, king, then you get him in your party. He's kind of useful. You go in front and I'll find him to safe distance. Let's get going because Pokey is incredibly useless. Pokey joins you. Now the phone's going to ring. So let's go answer it. Ness answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money. Yep, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so... Um... Ness... Or, uh, yeah. So your dad is basically your save point, and he is going to be a phone throughout the game. That's all you're going to get out of this. But he is your save point, and that is key because I'm playing on a Super Nintendo, so I do not have save states. Anyways, we are going to head back to the meteorite where we just were, except this time we're going to have to fight our way through everything. And that's not going to be easy because Pokey's useless. And this bird stole my bread roll. So you have bash, you have goods, you have auto fight, run away, defend, PSI. You know what defend is. Bash is your regular attack. Goods is obviously your items. PSI, we don't have any, but we'll get into that later. So King will actually fight with you. Um, Pokey just does things. They're, none of them do damage. It's like Pokey is hiding from you or Pokey is scared of you. I don't know. I'll try to show it. But the dogs, the runaway dogs are the weakest enemy around here. So you might not even get that. Pokey tried to edge closer to the enemy. King ground? Nope. Pokey tried to... Yeah, okay. Usually it says something like Pokey is hiding behind you or something, but... Um, apparently he's just edging close to the enemy. Also, the miss rate in this game, that is one thing that I must admit I do not appreciate. The miss rate is not friendly. Also, we just got Life Up Alpha, which is our first PSI move that I will demonstrate later when I, you know, am on my deathbed, because Life Up is obviously Life Up. So that's kind of important. I don't, I'm not going to show all the fights in this game because that would be insane. But I will show all new enemies when I run into them. Outside of that, I'll probably just cut out the fights and try to keep things going smoothly. Not the first few because I want to show off the attacks and I want to explain how the fighting works. Uh, so obviously you have a HP bar that scrolls, or would scroll if we actually had a lot more HP kicking around, and that can be used very effectively for you. I'm going to heal right here, and you're going to see that the HP will scroll up, which means when you take a critical death blow, you actually have a chance to save yourself because your HP has to scroll all the way to zero. And when you get very high up in the HP, that can take a long time and you need to use that to your advantage. Because that can be a good 10-15 seconds that you can uh, use a 
get a heal off and save yourself. Oh, okay, right there. The when the green when the screen turns green, that's basically the equivalent of a critical, and it just says smash. So that's a thing to show. And we are not at the meteorite. We're right there. We are literally right there. Nest level is now three. Offense went up by one. Defense went up by one. Guts went up by one. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by one. Max HP went up by twelve. Max PP went up by three. Insert PP joke here. Let's talk. Hey, Ness, I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Uh, thank you. Treasure Hunter, this is Liar Exaggerate's house. Took me a long time to Liar X Aggregate. Aggregate. Liar Exaggerate. Took me a long time to get that one. Also, you can see Picky up top on the top of the screen there, so we're going to go pick him up and add him to the party. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Well, uh, see you later, King. That was fun while it lasted. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Yeah, we're going to find out who's the real big brother really quick. Trust me. Ness, do you have a do you hear a buzzing sound like a bee flying around? Sure. Sixteen bit cutscenes. Yeah. A bee I am not. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygas, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all of the horrors of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. When I, where I am from, that is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gygas's monstrous plan must have been set into motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have the time to counter the evil intentions of Gygas. Three things are the bah, 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 bah. three things are the of utmost importance: wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legend from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygas. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much to work to do. You have much to work to do. Yes, I understood this story. God. The problem is I try to read too fast when I'm reading on camera. Because I feel like if I don't read fast enough, people will get bored. Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Well, I mean, good for you, Pokey. You are not one of the three boys. And thank God you're not. Because the way you fight, you are bloody useless. But maybe I... Oh, screw it. I'm going to try to read slower and read properly and speak proper English. Because I feel like that would be a more enjoyable thing for people. And let's be honest, I'm not going to get any views on this anyway. So what do I care? I'm doing this for my own entertainment. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygas's plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. So, we beat the game. Done. That went well. Buzz Buzz tried PSI Shield Gamma. I think that's Gamma. That might. No, that's not Omega. Omega's the, the O. Omega's the thing in God of War, actually. That's what it is. Uh, this fight is completely scripted. You cannot lose it, to my knowledge. I never have. Because Buzz Buzz is going to use a bunch of PSI moves to uh, protect you from getting killed. Because normally, if you're fighting a Starman, you would get destroyed. You need to be way higher level. This is like late game enemy bosses. 
So, just uh, jam your way through and let Buzz Buzz deal with all the rest. Hello. There we go. That actually went a lot quicker than I thought. Ness gained 16 XP. Woo, I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygas, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent, due to Gygas's influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Both of you are going to get it now. I am pretty sure that is now child abuse and could not be in a game. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a